What's up guys, Grim here. If you're somebody that have left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video, then you are entered into the giveaway of a Rex. And if you're somebody that has used my referral link in the description below my videos to create your Rift account, then you will win 10 times that amount of Rex if you're the winner. And the winner is, Boom, congratulations, we'll be sending you Rex to you just shortly. As usual, when we get donations via the PayPal link in the description below the videos, then that's first giveaways for you guys. And since last weekend's video, we have three donations. One is a $10 donation from James, then we had a $20 donation from Bo, and then a $10 donation from somebody that wished to remain anonymous. So thank you very much for these donations, and that will spur four Rex giveaways. The rules are the same, that if you have used my referral link to make your Rift account in the description below this video, then you are eligible to win 10 times the amount of Rex if you're one of the Rex winners. In order to be entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. The winners will be announced in the next weekend video. Good luck everyone. What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about how to win in Conquest. A lot of people struggle in order to get their weekly Conquest win done so that they can get their weekly quest done and get the big rewards from that uh, huge weekly. And it's actually very easy to do, but you just have to know how to do it. And uh, the people that know how to do it are really cashing in and the people that don't know how to do it are the victims in every conquest match. So to put it plainly, in order to get on the winning team, you need to be part of a pre-made for the most part. Because how stacking works in conquest is that a pre-made will come in and say that they get on the Oath Sworn team. Well, that entire team is filled up with that big pre-made and everybody else that comes into this conquest match afterwards is going to be put on Nightfall or Dominion because they're the ones without all the players. So it's going to naturally throw you where there is not already a lot of players on the team. So in order to solo queue and hope that you get on the winning team is a very slim chance. And the, the pre-made is going to rush out, cap everything up before the other teams even get the players in order to retaliate. Uh, Tron is attempted to fix this by making a 30 second or one minute uh, wait time once you join Conquest for other people to join. But really not enough people are joining and the pre-mades are still dominating this uh, particular aspect of the game. So what happens is you need to get on the chat channels in order to get into these pre-mades. A lot of times pre-mades are formed either through on the US servers, it's either through Hello Kitty at Hylaw or else the channel uh, cross events at Fablight. And on the EU servers, it may be a little bit different. I'm not too sure exactly what their PvP channels and all that. If I end up learning it, I will put it in the description below this video. But once you are on these pre-mades, sometimes they are contested, sometimes they are not. As in, there may be another pre-made team on the opposite side, but most of the time there isn't. So whenever you get into this pre-made, most likely you're gonna be able to get in, smash through everything, get all of your uh, caps in, and then win the match. Now getting CQ kills, as in trying to accomplish that weekly where you have to have so many conquest kills, that is a little more difficult because you have to hope that players are fighting back. And most of the time, whenever they see a pre-made stomping over everything, Players just leave the other team, so it's not really an easy goal to accomplish there. Now, if you run into the situation that you are having heavily contested conquest matches, as in you get on this pre-made, but there's almost always another pre-made fighting you, which doesn't really seem to be the case on US servers, but if it's happening that way on EU servers, or if it starts happening on US servers that way, the resolution to that is to get on during 
off hours. I will get on in the middle of the night sometimes and get into a pre-made and there will be almost nobody on the enemy teams. So the chances of having a contesting pre-made on the other teams is very, very slim. So it's an easy win every time, pretty much guaranteed. And that's the way that I cash in and make sure that I get all of my CQ wins done on all of my characters. A lot of people are not going to like this video because they do not like the idea that pre-mades are dominating conquests. Uh, you got the people that are on the side of pre-mades and they don't want it to sound like pre-mades are stomping on everybody. And then you got the side that do not like pre-mades in conquest and they hate that I'm referring to that as the way to win. So you're probably going to have a lot of people that don't like this video, but this is the way to win. If you solo queue, you will not consistently be on a winning team. Whereas if you get on pre-mades, you will almost always win. For those of you upset at this type of video, I'm sorry, but that's just the way that this channel has always been. I'm always looking out for the little guy and I will tell you where to go in order to succeed in the game. As usual guys, my name is Grim and I'll see you next time.